Man Cleavis. So, uh, all right. So I am here with Nikita. Nikita. Uh, Nikita. What do you do for a living? I'm a social worker. You're a social worker. Well, yeah. thank you for your service. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for your service. My aunt's a social worker, um, and I know uh, how difficult it can be. But what is your motivation? Motivation for what? What is your motivation for life? Why do you? I guess what do you find motivation in? What makes you get up in the morning? What makes you maybe do some unique things that other people may not do? Uh, whether that's study hard or, you know, uh, even go to work, you know. Um, I think the fact that I'm still here keeps me going because I know that because I'm still here, I got a purpose. So that's pretty much it. That's, that's a good answer. Uh, it's going to segue into my next question is, what is your reason why? What is your reason? Do you have a particular person? That motivates you is it a particular maybe it's your pets maybe it's a, a, a family member maybe it's a son or a daughter uh what is your reason why you maybe want to work hard and be successful and in, in, in that type of stuff i don't that's a great question i don't really have a reason why well not a present reason why i guess i live for other people like my mom she's not here anymore but i am so i try and make the most of what i have because there are people that I care about that didn't have the opportunity. No, that's a good answer. That's a really good answer. I don't, I don't you know, there's no really right or wrong answer with that. You know, everybody's going to be different, but um, it's going to segue into my next question is <laughs> five years from now in a perfect world, mm -hmm. what goals would you have accomplished and what goals would you like to be working on five years from now? You're asking like some really hard questions for a Thursday night in Cleveland on a full stomach. Hey, you see why I didn't? I didn't want. I didn't want to tell you the questions because I wanted you to think right here. I want to get candid answers, so that's why. If I tell you, you got time to think and you come up with good answers, but I, I want to hear some candid answers. First thing that comes to mind. Well, five years from now, I hope I've made a difference. Like you know, done something productive that's helped somebody, better somebody, myself, but other people too. Like I don't think that you exist in a silo i think that you are here to influence those around you and have an impact and so i hope i figure out what my footprint or impact or imprint is supposed to be and that i make as many of them as possible nice um do you think you are reaching your full potential right now no i'm striving but no i'm definitely not there I guess, is there anything that you could maybe start today or tomorrow or right now uh, that may help you, you know, reach your full potential or, you know, strive towards your goals uh, a, a little bit harder? I mean, for me, it's just continuing to put myself out there, you know, and I think I try and do that a little bit more each day, like stopping to have an interview with a random stranger. There's a website that I call or that I follow called Scare Your Soul, and, you know, they give you different challenges and it's all about you know, believing in yourself and, you know, propelling, like basically getting out of your own way. So, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, that's, again, another really good answer. And, it, and it's funny because I, a lot of times people will kind of say, get out of their comfort zone. And I, obviously I'm stopping random people. We don't know each other. I'm stopping random people to have this interview. And, and I think this is a start, right? And it's sometimes when you do something like this, you realize it's not that bad. So maybe this seg segues you into doing something else that, okay, maybe I wasn't going to try that, but because I got out of my comfort zone a little bit and it wasn't too bad, I'm going to try something else. Yes, I'm willing to try anything at least once. So that is the adventure seeker, you know, truth seeker, daredevil, whatever in me. So Nice. Okay. Uh, last question. For your younger self, your younger self or for anybody younger watching this, what would be a life lesson you would like you would like them to know? A life lesson you could give your younger self, let's just say, however many years ago. Um, life lesson for my younger self. I guess just hang in there. You know, it's not ever going to be easy, but you really are a lot stronger and wiser, resourceful, resilient than you would ever imagine that you could be. That's, again, another very, very good answer. Um, so it's not really a question, but the last part, uh, if you want to give a shout out, um, I know you mentioned that website, if you want to say that again, um, but if you want to give a shout out, if you want to say your social media uh, so people can follow you or anything like that, uh, feel free to, uh, but uh, just a any other comments or anything like that you you'd like to leave for the world? 
I don't do shout outs, but <laughs> I just say follow your heart, follow yourself, you know, be you. So Nikita Griffey, just Nikita. That's who I am on social. That's who I am. I don't make up any fancy handles or anything like that. I am who I am just because you follow me. Don't mean I will <laughs> accept you and everybody that you follow, you know, you don't need to lead. So I like it. Great, great answer. So thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. And uh, like I said, I'm uh, Darian R. Thomas on uh, Instagram. No, so no, you no, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. But I, uh, I am uh, Darian R. Thomas on uh, Instagram. Uh, Darian